Coach Ogeron? How the hell are you, son? Welcome to Mommy Football. Hey, you want some coffee? No thanks, I don't drink coffee. Oh, me neither. I chew it. Send it straight to the blood. Okay, we have Emmett. And that was oh a real my life. God, yeah, Emmett, thank you so much, man. Sorry, uh, we're dumb meatheads and didn't quite realize how to get this all working. We are now talking to Emmett Skelton, the man who is playing Cocho on the Young Rock, New Zealand's finest, waking up with us 19 hours into the future. Emmett, what's up, dude? That's, oh, uh, what's up, guys? Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And it's, uh, yeah, the, the early wake up's easy. It's all good. 19 hours in the future. It's pretty bright over here. I was about to say, how, how is the future? It's all good. Now, seriously, I know there there was a pretty big earthquake off the coast of New Zealand over by Rotorua, a place that I've been, which is uh, beautiful. Um, how, how How's everybody doing? You okay? You all good? Yeah. It was, it was an early one. It was a couple of hours ago, and uh, everyone is okay. It was just a very, very long jolt. So uh, I think there's a few tsunami warnings on the East Coast, but uh, everyone seems to be safe. That's what's important. All right, so uh, hopefully everything ends up all good there. Now, Emmett, obviously uh, we are in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, uh, across the world. Yeah, you and, are. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? You have the picture we're using for you from your Twitter. You have a beautiful LSU hat on that you got. Uh, you are playing oh. Coach O in, in, in the Young Rock television show on NBC. What was it like? When you originally got the call, like, how do you, as a New Zealand native, how do you even go about auditioning? How did you land the role as a Cajun football coach? Oh man, so I've got obviously I've got U.S. management as well as my my Kiwi team, and so this this audition came across um, their desk. They sent it on to me because I kind of fit some kind of description. Um, so I read, uh, you know, I read it through. I was like, oh, cool, okay. I don't really know who this person is, but I'll, I'll give it a go. <laughs> About 30 minutes later, my agent also sends through a video going, oh, by the way, they're trying to be really specific on the voice here. This is the real guy. And, uh, I mean, as every single person in Louisiana or that likes college football knows, uh, Coach O is a, 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 a beast in his, in his own, right? Yes, so, yes. So the... Um, the qualities of his voice, the qualities of his character and his energy were um, definitely intimidating to begin with. So I put down my best Coach O impression at that point, did what I could, sent off the tape, and then about six hours later I got a, a, a message from my U.S. team saying, hey, they really like what you did, they just like you to retape it, but we want to understand you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, hey, but, but how do you go about so like, like researching? Said, I'm, I'm clearly on the right path. Yeah, like how do you go about well, researching? Did you watch uh, press conferences and, and just clips of Coach O? So, yeah, so that first that first day, I just watched the two clips that my, my manager had sent me, which is one of the ones where he's yelling at the guys at the press conference to keep it down. <laughs> and then another one, is just, uh, um, <laughs> which is iconic, right? Um, but since then, I've pretty much watched every single piece of footage whether that be uh, press conferences, where obviously he's a bit uh, a cleaner spoken, so it's a little bit easier to understand some of his accents. And then interviews, such as 60 Minutes. Obviously, I was listening to Off the Bench on Tuesday morning so that I could get a yeah. get an idea about him and what he's up to. And uh, that's where I first listened to you guys, which is awesome. Um, and, and I actually, with some of my research, I found myself watching his mom, Coco, to yeah. try and understand some of the elements of his accent. And I even listened to some of Joey Molinero, you know, yeah. who does a wonderful impression of his voice, you know. So so I, I kind of covered everything I possibly could with his voice. And then when it came to his his coaching style as well as his values as a person, um, you know, I had some of the, the footage of him at um, USC and LSU um, actually on the field coaching when they had open days and then flipped the script with him and Bruce Feldman's book came out about a month before we shot. So it was perfect timing for me to understand a little bit more of what's inside his head as well as what we see outside. I mean, Emmett, dude, doing the homework yeah, here, yeah. leaving no stone unturned. Joey. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, you don't play you don't play Coach O without <laughs> knowing who the hell Coach O is. Hell yeah, you dude. Know, it, I think it, for, for me, it's... Yeah, go on. It's, uh, it's really important that... Um, I'm not playing a caricature of a person, you know, yeah. it's, it's very important that I understand as much as I can about the guy. And for, for the rock, I mean, this is a show about the people he loves 
in his life and has had massive influence on him. And uh, and Dwayne made it very clear from the beginning that, you know, we want people to see them, themselves on screen and have a laugh rather than see themselves on screen and, and feel, um, for want of a better term, made fun of. Yeah. You know, so I knew very, very, um, very early on the value that, that Dwayne has in Coach O and, and how important that relationship and uh, and that was reflected on, on screen. Oh, man, that's that's really cool to hear. You can follow Emmett on Twitter at Emmett Skilton. Now, uh, I, I don't know if you, you may have heard this here or not, but but he see, Coach O loved it. He got a big kick out of it. He was laughing when he saw the clips and everything. Uh, now, and, and I've seen you talk with Panamska. This is Twitter. He did say he wants you to hit the weight room. So so are, are there any plans oh. to, uh, to bulk up? <laughs> yeah, man, there's absolute plan. That was there was always one thing that um, me, me as a person I was intimidated by, but also I knew I would never be able to get to coach our level. You know, him talking about how much he can bench press still now <laughs> in his fifties, I was like, great, man, this is never going to freaking happen. <laughs> but what I did do is I went from a, I went from about one eighty seven to two twenty in Damn. my press before we shot. What? So, so while it may not may not seem like I got to Coach O level on screen, um, you should have seen how freaking skinny I was before that. Man. <laughs> um, but yeah, but there's uh, there's different plans. Yeah, I'm gonna work with Panansky, uh Gonna get a chat to him today. Get a little program going, and uh, and uh, yeah, see if I see if I can't make Coach O proud. Uh, surely, surely, there's hopefully some plans or something to get you down here to a game in the fall. Have, yes. have those wheels started yet? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that, that's always been my plan since I started watching. You know, part of my research as well was watching the game. I got very invested in watching, obviously, the games that were happening last season or season just gone, but also going watching slightly more historic games, you yep. know, uh, mainly the, the Joe Burrow season. Yes. How, how monumental that, that, you know, unbeatable LSU team was. And uh, all I wanted to do was be in Tiger Stadium watching it, you know. So, so uh, hopefully, once things quiet down in the world, yeah, and uh, travel's a little bit more easy to do. Um, yeah, I'll be in Death Valley having to watch, man. I can't wait. Yeah, and we'll fully take care of you. Like, we'll do it big. We'll do the tailgating yes. with T. Bob. We'll do yes. the sideline passes before the game. I mean, we'll have a heck of a time. I'm actually looking forward to that. And oh, so, I love it, man. So, hey, I, I've got I to ask them. What was your knowledge of college football before you got this role? Yeah, that's a great question. I, my knowledge of college football was literally nil. I had been, um, when I was younger, which would obviously help when you're playing football coach, of course. Um, when, uh, when I was younger, I'm one of four brothers, and we had uh, NFL apparel in, in New Zealand, but it wasn't necessarily televised, right? So we had, you know, my, my team were the 49ers, my little brothers was the Giants, my older brothers were the Raiders, and my other older brother was uh, Washington. Yeah. So we had a presence of football, and my brothers have played it. Uh, my old, two older brothers have played it sort of in the last 10 years in New Zealand. Oh. Obviously, on a smaller scale than what you guys have. But in terms of college football, I just, you know, to have a stadium that has over 100,000 seats in it, yeah. And that's packed every single game. That's unheard of for, for where I come from. You know, we don't even have a stadium that holds that many people, let alone something at college level that that's, that is that celebrated. So I've really got into the, uh, as you can tell with the hat, I've really got into the uh, the, the spirit of LSU and uh, and really following what they're up to. Well, I mean, so yeah, man, I'm, I'm hooked. Uh, yeah, and chat chat loves it. All the boys in the room love it. LSU loves it. Uh, we are very happy to have you on the squad. It sounds like you have really put the time in. Uh, like Thank you man. said, on, honoring you know honoring this role and not making it like some cast off thing like it could have been. Um, I hate this because we are up against the clock. I know you're up early. I hope we can do this again in the future because I've still got a ton that I want to pick your brain on. Uh, but Emmett, again, I cannot thank you enough for waking up with us this morning. Oh, it's my pleasure, man. No, thank you. And any time, I'll be around. Let's uh, let's do it again. Absolutely. All right, let's go. Yeah, Emmett Skelton, thanks, Emmett. New Zealand native, playing Coach O, leaving no stone unturned. That 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 was nuts. Yeah. Like all of the prep that he did for that role. I mean, even reading the book, flip the script. I mean, he wanted to understand exactly who Coach O was. 
I, again, we got to have him on. I had a lot of questions as well. Me too. I mean, did he have a dip in? Was there a turk? It almost looked like at one point. I like wonder. So I was wondering, is that is that so? Because he talks about the coffee grinds, how he likes to eat them. I, I wonder if coffee it, grinds. Yeah, did he have the coffee grind in the lip? Uh, well, that's something I need to try. I've heard. I think I've heard of people doing that. I'm not. No, there's there's actually sure. there is a company that actually pouches coffee grinds to try to replace it. Oh well, there you go. I know. I know. Uh, I know some hockey bros that when they used to get cut or something on the ice. They yeah. would take dip and put that on the cut and then tape it down, yeah. uh, which is just a wild level of degeneracy. Um, Nookie raised a good point. This is a brilliant approach on the part of The Rock, right? Like, like yeah. in terms of, like, he's making this show to honor the people that he loved, and when they see themselves on the screen, they don't want to feel like it's a character or they're the butt of the joke, but rather right. that it's just they're kind of having a laugh and being celebrated, and Coach O loves it. How about, dude, Emmett? We're making fun of him for being too skinny. Got to My man gained 35 pounds. Yeah, we got to go. All right, uh, we will close out the show next. Uh, a little Ask the Bitch coming up. Get your question, Jen. You're an OTBOT.